the Honorable Luis A. Quintana. Good afternoon. The city of Newark is my joy and my pride. And I say that from the heart. I don't need to read from a book, scripture or from a book, because I have taught, been taught the scripture, and I have been taught from the book. But today I stand here as a person who has been fortunate in this great city of Newark to be a councilman who have served, who will serve for five terms under great leadership, under great times. And the bad times will come, but the great times will come again. And I promise to you that I will always be that kind of person. There will be the times there will be a no vote. There will be the time there will be a yes vote. But there will be no rubber stamping. And there has never been. I am very proud of a city that 43 years ago I arrived at the hardest day in the city of Newark. As a little boy arriving in a city that the racial disturbance took place in a city. I arrived the day in the summer of 1967 in this great city of Newark. And I can tell you my age. But I am proud of the Newark that I have learned about. I am so happy of the Newark that has taught me. There may be a lot of books that could teach, but I've learned from the people of this great city, of this great city from every ward to every sector. It is difficult times ahead. But I say this to all of us, and there are some in this room but remember the Black and Puerto Rican Convention in 1970. It is for that reason that today, there is that reason that today I stand before you, because of black leadership and Puerto Rican leadership that came through in this city and worked together. Some people forget the history of Newark. I'm not for sale, and I'm not to be taken. And I said that very clear. As the late Donald Tucker would say, and I would say this, Donald said one day, Lou, what, is, what matters what position you hold on council? What matters is how you hold your position in office. And that's the truth. I have said to the special interests, that I am not going to put Newark on a sale sign. And I have told some people in this city that I plan to stay in my city that I love. But I'm not going to let no one polarize my city or try to put it one against another, or on gender or on race. And I'm very clear. I want to say this, sometimes I'm not going to agree, but I'm not going to make sure, I'm going to make sure that you understand why I don't agree. Because it is not who, elect, I, I did not elect back myself, the people elected me. The people of the city. And so many times, people want to take the position of politics to grandstand and to move ahead. Well, I've been here for 43 years, and I plan to stay here for a long time. You know, this is home to me. There are issues that are going to come before us, and some of us are going to have to make the decisions. But you know what? I don't have a political boss. And I don't belong to any political parties, because I don't hold any political positions and any political parties. I respect both parties, but there's some times, there's some troubles that we have to talk about. Some people don't want to hear about it, because it's not, it's not good for them to hear. But guess what? 
This councilman doesn't wear a tag that you can put on a rack and you can sell whatever you want. This councilman is about the people of the city. I, you take me for what I am, and that's the kind of person I am. I can be controversial, but you know what? Sometimes when you're controversial, that's when you get the answers. And that's when you get to know the truth. My friends, I'm here, and I'm delighted with my council colleagues. And I have to the new council members, I'm, I want to congratulate them, too. To the mayor and all of us to say this, the ha hard days are ahead. Look, everywhere in the country, people are going through hard times. But you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to come together. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to talk to each other. Some of us may want to have five, ten jobs. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters are losing jobs on the streets. And we got to be about the people of this city. I want to say this today. I raised some children in this city, and I'm proud of my children. My daughter just graduated from college. Ida, can you stand, please? I'm very proud of her, my daughter. My son, Carlos, stand up, son, South, a sophomore in college. And my baby daughter, Jadis, just graduated high school. I'm proud of my wife as a school teacher and who's a school teacher who understands what's going on. And she's nobody's babysitter. Uh, because some people in Trent think the teachers are babysitters here in Newark. Well, my wife ain't no babysitter. She's been a teacher for 25 years. Thank you. To my neighbors, to my sister-in-law, to my sister Maria, her and I flew here in 1967 on a Pan Am flight, Pan Am flight 52 out of San Juan. And we were coming here because our mother was trying to give us a better day. My mother was a battered woman. My mother was a woman who suffered. And she looked for a dream. She came to a place called Newark in 65. And two years later, she came back and picked us up and said, you're coming home to a new home to a new home called Newark, New Jersey. The winters may come, she said, but the desire to keep you here in this great city. And my mother always said, stay and work hard for your city. Invest. I own property in the city of Newark, yes. Oh, yes, I'm a, tax, I'm a taxpayer. I just don't have an address to just have an address. I have a property. I pay taxes, I pay water, and I feel the pain of the city of Newark and its people. And guess what? I will never put the city of Newark and the special interest before the people of the city of Newark. The people of the city of Newark, and we may disagree in this council, we may disagree, but one thing I say to all of us, we will fight the hardest days ahead, and we will come to a decision. But we cannot rubber stamp things. We must be about the reality of the people of the city of Newark. Thank you. Obrigado. Gracias. Y al pueblo. Gracias a todo el pueblo por su apoyo. Nunca olvidaré. Gracias al pueblo. Thank you. Gracias.